Then you start what? Rehearsing them righteous acts. Now you're called out of darkness into the light. That's how beautiful this truth is. That's how beautiful this truth is. and hate that abomination, vehement. Okay. Who shall praise the most high in the grave? So how are you going to be able to praise the Yahabashah when you're in the grave? That's why you're going to give it your all. While we have breath, while we're alive, that's why you have to give it your all. Instead of them which live and give thanks, that's why it's so important that we're alive, so we can give thanks to Yahabashah. Thanksgiving perisheth from the dead. Right? Thanksgiving perisheth from the dead. That's why it's so important to be alive. As from one that is not the living and sounding heart shall praise the Lord. So this is the living and sounding heart shall praise Yahweh Shai. So guess what? We're living. So guess what? We're praising Yahweh Shai. Scripture says that better is um oh man I think a living a dead lion it's like a better is a, is, is a living dog or a dead lion okay better than a dead lion perfect okay because you're able to what to see the majesty and to bring forth this word that's why you can't take this truth for granted bear me just a minute you can't take this truth for granted and that's why we're in this condition because our people were ungrateful. Our people got a constant habit of being ungrateful. Let's go to Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy 28. And, and when you're ungrateful, the blessing that you were given, Yahushua takes that away. And that's why you may be asking yourself, well, it don't get to the point now where I question, well, why aren't men doing what they're supposed to be doing? Because men are not grateful. So when you're not grateful for this truth, what does Yahushua do? He takes away what you have. He takes that away. And he gives that talent to somebody else. The scriptures say that. Take away that talent. And another brother, he'd be given that talent that you were given because you weren't using what you were given. So the Lord, he takes that away. All right? Let's go to Deuteronomy 28. And where was I? Where was I? Where was I? Bear me just a minute. That's why you have to be grateful. A lot of men are not grateful for this truth. So the Lord, what? Guess what he does? He takes away everything you have. All right? And leaves you desolate. Go to Jude 20, 28 and 47, 40, 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So it says that will overtake you. All right? And pursue thee, follow you. And overtake thee till thou be destroyed. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord Yahweh shall have power. Because you didn't want to take heed. We didn't want to take heed. Not unto the voice of the Lord Yahweh shall have power. To keep his statutes, commandments, and his statutes we felt. Which he commanded thee. And there shall be a one of upon thee for a sign. I need that sign today. All right. And for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. But it's not forever. Why? Because through Yahabashai, he's redeemed us from what? The curse of the law. Verse 47 Because thou servest not the Lord, thy power Yahabashai, thy for gladness, for joyfulness, I and mean with gladness. See, so Yahabashai wants us to what? To be joyful and serve him with gladness. That's what he wants us to do. Okay. Of 
part. So you want to what? Serve him with gladness of heart. Show what? Appreciation for this truth. For the abundance of all things. That's why you got to serve Yahweh Shai. For the abundance of all things. Everything. We're going to be grateful. All right? For everything. Not some. Every day you're able to wake up, teach the truth, be grateful. Every day you're able to learn, be grateful. Every day you're able to come out here and teach this word, be grateful. Every time you're able to congregate with, with brothers of a like mind, be grateful. Be grateful for that. Because as the Lord gave it to you, you can also take that away and give it to somebody else. He's going to actually use the talent. Bear me just a minute. Could he go to Matthews 25? When he says take, take the talent from him and give it to somebody else that has more talents. Matthews 25. And bear me just a minute. Matthew 25. Alright. And let's go straight to twenty-four. When he which had the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew that art a hard man. So yeah, we know that you have shot very austere, very hard. Alright, to be fed. Reap what has not sown. So, Yamsha, he doesn't have to do any sowing. He's reaping where he's not sown. And gathering where has not struck. Alright, because he's the boss. You're the boss. You're not doing that labour as in terms of you have labours for you. So you have a shot, he's the boss. And we're laboring for him. Gavin Midas has not strut. Gavit. Where he's not gathered. It's so worth doing that work. Yavashah's already done the work. Alright? Yahusha has already committed himself. He already what? Gave himself for what? A sacrifice. Now it's our time to sacrifice. And I was afraid. This is the individual that had one talent. I was afraid. So he was scared. So that shows you he was in a fearful, doubtful spirit. In the truth. Walking about with no faith, head down with no faith. No one wants you to have confidence. He says he was afraid. So he, he was afraid to do the work. He was afraid to get his hands dirty. To get stuck in. And lo, there that is dying. He went and gave it back. He went and gave that talent back. Okay, he wasn't using it. Alright. His Lord answered him. And said unto him. The wicked and slothful servant. So that's a wicked, and that's a wicked, and that's a slothful servant. Someone like that's wicked and slothful. So if you're not really about the truth, if you're not really about pushing this work, you're just a wicked, slothful servant. That's just in the way. That's just going to be destroyed. Men get emotional because you do videos on guys being lukewarm. Is your house shadow saying that? Men get emotional. Because you bring out individuals about them being wicked. Yeah, you have wicked. We know you have wicked individuals in every camp. I'm not, I'm not, it's not generalizing. Well, yeah, it is generalizing. You have wicked individuals in every camp. You get offended. What was Yahushua saying? Who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Huh? John the Baptist, he knew those that were wicked. 
so, 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 so now, so now, what is it a crime to say no? Oh, what you got? You have wicked individuals in Great Millstone. Just like your car, though, you're not being spiritual. All right, get out of your flesh. Get out of your emotions. The newest that I reach, where I sell nuts. So this individual, he knew what to do. He knew what he was supposed to do with the talents. But guess what? He didn't do anything. He sat on his ass and he wasn't using what that gift. He wasn't using that talent. And I sold not that would together where I've not strayed. That all to start put my money to what? To the exchanges. So you are better off giving it to the exchanges. Why? So you can what receive? You should. So it could be doubled. So it wasn't doubled, because you just hid it. What good is it you giving money and you just hide it under a mattress? What good is it you giving is truth? You're just hiding it. You're not doing anything with it. What good is it? That means the truth that you it's not it's not good to you. That's why I'm saying it doesn't it's not really it doesn't really matter. You have all this knowledge, but you're not doing anything. You know all this knowledge. Looking down on that upon other brothers. But you're not doing anything. So you're as bad as the man that may not know as much as you, but you're not doing anything. So you're gonna be destroyed. And then just a minute. Verse 28. Take therefore the talent from him. So now that talent going to be taken from you and I've seen this and I've been saying this for a while this is what happens take therefore take therefore the talent from him so that talent is going to be taken from you so what's that talent that talent is your gift that talent is your spirit that talent is what you're able to do so now Yahavashai takes that talent from you. So yeah, if, if you have no talent, then that means you're worthless. Because talent means worth. So now Yahavashai takes that talent from you. Now you're talentless. So again, don't be surprised when these things happen. And that talent gets given to somebody else. And that's why that individual is fervent, because the talent gets stripped from somebody else and it gets given to you. All right? That's what happens. That's why you've got to use that talent. Use it in the right way. Take therefore the talent from him and give it unto him that I'm talent. That's devil. That's a double talent. So you're gonna have men that have already had talents and they're gonna be, the truth's gonna be added unto them. The spirit that was on another man that once had these talents is gonna be what? On this other man. You see how it works. That's why I say you gotta be in this daily. This is a daily thing. It's a daily thing. It's not a weekly thing. It's not a, a five every five day thing. We're at the end. This is the time to what? To put that fervency in. This is the time to show how much you care for your Shai. How much you care for the hopeful elect. Because if guess what? If you really did, if you really, really did care, if you really, really did care, you wouldn't be going five, four days without your Shai. All right? You'll be doing this daily. You'll be thinking about Yahweh Shai daily. All right? You'll be thinking about Yahweh Shai daily. It's a continual thing. Not weekly. Not five days. And even if you, brothers got, you never know because there may be a loved one that's died in your family or a particular extreme scenario. So you understand, I'm saying if a man goes week or five days, 
but your mind should always be on your habashai. Always. Always. No matter what, no matter what scenario. Matthew's 25. Alright, this is Matthew 25 and 29. For everyone that has shall be given this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. So it says, everyone that has shall be given. So guess what? You have that, you're given more. Especially if you believe. Especially if you're showing an effort. You're given even more. Four, 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 triple four. A triple, triple four. A double, triple four. Rakati out, rakati out of shy. All right? So you shall be given. But it says, but everyone from the Tzlaka, but from everyone that have shall be given, and he shall have an abundance. Rivers of living water. That's why you're able to do different lessons. Different lessons, different way. Okay? But from him that have not shall be taken away, even which he have. So if you don't even have not, and if you're not working on what you've been given, even a little that you have is going to be taken away. Even a little. That's why you need to work on what you have continually. And a lot, the Lord, He increases you in what you have. That's the importance of this truth. Don't you want to be increased in more wisdom, more knowledge and understanding? Don't you want to be alive? Because if you're not alive, you're dead. That's why you've got men doing videos in, in a dead spirit. You can do a video, but what spirit are you in? Verse 30. And cast the unprofitable. The unprofitable servant into outer darkness. So those that were playing about with the truth, guess what's going to happen to them? They're going to be what? Cast into what? Darkness. Right back in, and that, that's um, equated into this world. Lord can put you right back into the world. That's happened to a lot of men already. The Lord has them hanging about, lingering about, but they're already in the world. All right? The unprofitable servant into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth, especially when the missiles come. So you have to endure. Pray for more endurance. Pray for the things you need. All right. Pray for these things. Because yes, it's needed. We need these things. Verse 31, when the son of man shall come in his glory. See how shall is coming in glory? And all the holy angels with him. Ren Chow, he sit upon the throne of his glory. So Yahweh is going to be sitting upon that throne and he's going to have a different body. And we're also going to see the body that they pierced him with. The scripture says his visage was more marred than any man. We're also going to see that as well. And before him shall be gathered all nations. And he shall separate them one from another. So they won't be separated. One from another. That's what Yahshua is doing. And that separation is being made in the spirit. Because you've got the house of Saul and you've got the house of David. And then you can't, you can't, you can't, what's it? You can't intertwine them too. They're separate. They, they don't get along. So you may be wondering, why don't you get along with this individual? He may be, well, it's simple. He's of the house of Saul, and you may be of the house of David. It's very simple. All right? It's not, it's not personal. Men, men make it personal. All right? He's of the house of Satan. You're of the house of David. And he shall separate them 
one from another. These are people are also scattered among these other nations. As a shepherd divided his sheep from the goat. So Yahushua is doing that separation. You have the sheep, the elect, okay. And you have the goats, the undesirables that are going to be destroyed. Okay. The wicked, even of our own nation. They're going to be what? Separated. Alright. They're going to be separated. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh of Shai. Why? Because the scriptures say so. That's why. When, let's go on verse, when shall they, the king, okay, say unto them on his right hand, come ye blessed of my father. And that's what we want. Don't you want that? Bless of the father. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. It's the elect, they got a what? A kingdom prepared for them. And I was reading something yesterday, basically, maybe just a minute. On the kingdom, concerning the kingdom. See if I can find it. So that's what the hopeful elect got coming to them. All right. And they're going to have that particular spirit. Bear me just a minute. If I can't find it, I'll move on. prepared what do you think we're preaching we're preaching the kingdom the good news to our people that can receive it heaven is second as was name and start at 50 for many great miseries shall be done to them that in a lot of time shall dwell in the world so this is many great miseries not some Many great miseries, many afflictions, many woes, all right, shall be done unto Ram, but in the latter time, what's the latter time, the last days, shall dwell in the world, in this world that we're living in, because they have walked in great pride. So that's because they were walking in pride. They wanted to do what they wanted to do. And another example of pride is you don't want to do the work. You're too good. You're too busy. You got excuses. That's another definition of pride. Defiance is what pride. You want to do things your way. The Lord told you to, to, um, to be out on the highways and byways. You want to go in the forest. You're doing things your way. That's pride. But understand though for thyself. So really, you want to stand, you want to understand for thyself first. All right. And seek out. So it says seek out the glory for such as be like thee. So that's why you got to acquaint yourself with those that be like unto thee. Those that are in the same spirit as you. Scriptures can two walk together unless they be agreed. That's the ones you want to sort out. Those that are in your, your spirit, you're the same spirit. That be like thee. So you're not going to be drunk with someone that's of the world. You're not going to be someone that's, someone that's uh, preoccupied in time with the world. You're going to be joint with those that are about the truth because it, it makes things easier. You actually want to do the work with this individual because he has a ready mind. He ain't huffing and puffing, sighing when, when it comes to doing a video. That's a sign of someone that's not really in the spirit. 
You want to labor with those that want to labor. You want to labor with those that want to get out of here. That's what spirit you want to be in. Seek out the glory for such as be like thee. Same thing, same mind. Because then, if, 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 you, if you're um, standing with another brother that's in the same mind, the spirit's going to flow lovely. You're going to be on the same accord. But if you're, if you're teaching with someone that's in the world, there's going to be what? A friction. It's going to be a friction because this guy's worldly. He's not about the truth. For unto you paradise, for unto you is paradise open, the kingdom. The tree of life is planted. The time to come is prepared. Plenty is made ready. A city is built. Okay, and the scriptures talk about that city. New Jerusalem. And rest is allowed. Yeah, perfect goodness. And wisdom. So all these things are laid up. All these things are prepared for those that what? Love you, have a shine. Verse 53. The root of evil is sealed up from you. From the hopeful elect. The root of evil. If you have a root, what? Something could spring up. Okay. The root is evil. is sealed up from you. It's close. It's close to you. Okay. Has no effect on you. Weakness and moth is hid from you. Corruption is fled into hell to be forgotten. And this is where my change. This is where my change. Corruption's gonna be forgotten. You're gonna be made new. Verse 54. Sorrows are past. So all the former sorrows, they're gonna be past. All sorrows are gonna be passed away. Oh. All. Alright. The sorrows of this world. All that's going past. All four myself are past. And in the end, show the treasure of immortality. Let's think about in the kingdom. Where we're renewed. And the treasure of immortality. Immortality means you're immortal. You're actually living as God forever. Okay. And therefore ask thou no more the questions according to the multitude of them that perish. Don't ask no questions. Oh, what's going to happen to the, the unbelievers? They're going to die. We started off on that video with that topic. Ask no questions of how they're going to perish. Be concerned of those that are in a light mind. Don't be concerned. If you know someone is not ready about the truth, why are you concerned with them? Let them go. Forget about them. You know someone's fervent for the truth, they really want to get out of here? That's who you deal with. And when it said um, immortality, treasure of immortality, let's quickly go to Corinthians. Let's see if I can find it. Treasure of immortality. That's what we're laboring for. To be changed. Bear me just a minute. If you're not really laboring, if you're not really fervent for your share, you don't really want that change. You're just comfortable here. You're just a man that just knows he's an Israelite. But you don't want change, you're, you're comfortable. Spirit. They're gonna have a spirit of what? Hastening. Hastening the coming of the hour by shedding out of sight. Then just a minute.
Okay, this is 2 Corinthians 5. Alright? Chapter 5. For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we should build it, the dwelling place. If this flesh was dissolved, this earthly tabernacle, because this is earthly flesh that we're living in, were dissolved, was to perish. We have a building of the Most High not made with hands, and house not made with hands. This is an immortal body, eternal in heaven. All right. So we got we got brothers. You got bodies, new bodies, what laying up for you? You got new bodies laying up for you. Bodies that don't feel pain, don't, don't feel sick. We got new bodies laid up for us. Eternal in the heavens. Sun that's eternal, it doesn't it doesn't perish. In the heavens. For in this we groan. I'm groaning now, this is that groaning. Earnestly designed to be clothed upon with our house which is from heaven. So we're designed to be clothed with our house which is from heaven. A new body. No aches and pains. If we saw that we being found being clothed, we shall be, if so be that being clothed, we shall be found naked. For we that are in this tabernacle do groan. So we're groaning because we're in this tabernacle, this flesh, which is subject to what? To sin. subject to pain so yes we do grow all right being burdened so this flesh it weighs the scriptures tell you that the flesh it weighs you down at times being burdened Not for that we would be unclothed, but clothed upon mortality. But clothed upon that mortality might be swallowed up. So we want these, this flesh to be changed. Up of life. So we want mortality to be swallowed up of life. Through immortality, we want that change. Now he that have wrought, wrought means work. Us the self same thing is the most high who also have given us the earnest of the earnest of the spirit the Holy Spirit wherefore we are always confident always not sometimes always confident knowing that whilst we are at home in the body this flesh we are absent from the Lord because we know we cannot fully please the Lord in this flesh All right. For verse seven, for we walk by faith, and this is what a lot of men are not understanding. We're walking by faith. That's what we're walking by, faith. A lot of men think, oh yeah, it's about knowing this and that. But if you don't have faith, doesn't matter how much laws you know. If you don't have faith, you're done in these times. For we walk by faith and not by sight. So that's what the whole four elect are going to be walking by. Faith and not by merely sight. Not by what they can just see. What, not, not what just the, the naked eye sees. They're walking by faith. And what is faith? Searching for peace. Hope for, but not seen. That's what the elect are walking by. Because if you were to walk by sight, it would seem like we will just be trapped, like we can get out of this condition. So now we're walking by faith. Total faith. And not by sight. That's how we're going to overcome. Alright? And a lot of men, they're walking by sight. Because what are they bringing out? Well, Esau's coming to do this. Esau's shutting this off. Esau's doing this. 
That's you walking by sight. You're walking by the spirit. Guess what? You're not going to be getting caught up on the things you see. Because you're walking in the spirit. So the things that you're seeing, they're not somewhat troubling you. Are we going to be in trouble? Yes, but it's not troubling you. Where every video you can do is just what, what Esau's coming to do. Now you're projecting fear. Well, that's not going to be the case if you're walking in what? Faith. That's what the Lord requires. Wherefore, wherefore we labour that whether present or absent, we may be accepted of Him. That's why we got to labour. Labour to enter into that rest. Let's quickly go to Hebrews. Hebrews 9. Maybe just a minute. Because we're laboring to enter into that rest. Which not all of our people are going to enter into that rest. Alright? Hebrews. Let's go straight to verse 4. I start at 4. Let us therefore fear. So when you're fearing, you're going to be doing the work. So let us therefore fear. All right. Fear Yahweh Shai. Lest a promise be left us entering into his rest. The rest is the kingdom. Any of you should seem to come short of it. We don't want to come short of that. That what? That, that king, the kingdom. Because that can happen. That's why it says, let us therefore labor. We're laboring for the kingdom. Just because you're in a camp, that doesn't give you a ticket of salvation. You gotta labor. You have this faith now, now you gotta labor. You gotta put in that work. For unto us was the gospel preached, 1 verse 2. For unto us was the gospel preached, it was preached. As well as unto them, the others that knew they were Israelites, but that's as far as it went. That's as far as it went. But the word preached did not profit them. Why didn't it profit them? Not being mixed with faith. So this word, it needs to be mixed with faith. Or it's not going to profit you. If you're reading these, these words, but you already don't believe it, how is it going to profit you? How is it going to do any good to you? So, again, when you're reading these words, you're going to believe in these words. Because if you don't, guess what? You're wasting your time. And it, sa it says, why? Not being mixed with faith. So if you're reading these words, it has to be mixed with your faith. Mixed. Faith and fear. Mixed. That's what's going to keep you enduring. In them that heard it. So you have those that they hear the words and it's either they don't have the fear or they don't have faith. One of the two. So they don't, they don't go any further. They just, they know they're Israelite. They know scriptures. See, you can know, you can, like I said, you can know scriptures and still hang about. But the spirit, the spirit already screwed you out a long time ago. That's why the main ingredient is what? Faith. The main ingredient. For which we for we which have believed do enter. So those that do believe enter into the kingdom. That rest. 
as he said, I have sworn in my wrath, if they shall enter into my rest, all of the works are finished from the foundation of the world. So everything is what predestined. The works were already finished from the foundation of the world. The works that represents the elect as well. Is they're part of the works of Yahweh Shai. Alright? So we just a little shot off here. A Lord willing. This was edifying to the hopeful elect across the globe. And until the next time, Shalom, the hopeful elect. Shalom. And keep pushing and keep believing. And make sure you have faith. Right? Until the next time, shut up.